Hello and welcome to another short K2-based video. My name is Kyron, and here I'll be talking about the distances you need to consider from the module edge to the roof edge when planning on a flat roof project. Moving into base, I have two roofs here, with the first roof being at 10 meters high. Moving to the design page, I want to draw your attention to this yellow line here. This represents the minimum roof edge distance and this has been determined from our wind tunnel tests and can be found in our assembly instructions. As with many features in BASE, if you try to put something in that is does not meet our requirements, BASE will automatically put it back to the set values. Here we've tried 0.4 and it put it back us back to 0.6. Similarly, if you move the modules into this area, BASE is not going to plan them there. In this case, it has deleted two modules as we have a D-Dome project and one D-Dome is considered two modules. This function can be used to increase the value from the roof though. This could be useful if you have a walkway uh, or some area where you would like to place fall protection. Here I've set it to two meters and now we have space around the entire roof where no modules will be planned. An important feature to note is if we are planning on roofs five meters or less. For example, we jump to roof two here. I have a roof of five meters. This function works a little bit differently. Going into the design, I have the same setup as before. However, because this roof is only five meters and therefore not that tall, the wind has a different effect on the roof and we are able to put this to a different value less than 0.6 and in fact, all the way down to zero. Notice now the modules are placed right on the roof edge, but it's important to note this is only possible for roofs five meters or less. That's all for now. Hope to see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.